Welcome to the Chris and Tina Johnson Project. Last time, Chris showed us how to cut down a tree he researched through watching yes. videos. Look for electrical hazards first and foremost. And here a recap of the tree falling. Hey, how's everybody doing? Let me see that tree fall one more time. One more time. Here you go. That was cool. Can you do it again? Okay. Repeat it? Yeah. Okay, here you go. Welcome to the Chris and Tina Johnson Project. Hey, how's everybody doing? Today, I'm gonna to be showing everybody how to plant a windmill palm. Another name for it is a Chinese windmill palm. It's a, the scientific name is Trachycarpus fortunae. That's the name of it. It's a, it comes from the mountains of China and it can grow all the way up into Virginia, Tennessee, so it's pretty cold hardy, real easy to plant. Today so I'm gonna show you a, how to do it. A windmill palm right here I, I planted. This one is about, I would say four years old. I planted it in the ground, it's been almost two years. Well, not quite two years is when I planted it, but you can see they really add to your yard, especially when they get growing a little bit bigger. I ordered two more and I'm gonna plant them. Today I'm gonna show you how to pick a location, how to get it in the ground. So what you wanna do, you want to find a location that's that partly shade or full sun. They can even grow in full sun. Um, this one gets where I'm going to plant these two. I've got I've got one. I'm going to plant three total. You want to plant these in groups of three. They look better. They just kind of set your yard off. They make me feel like I'm on vacation all the time. For real. I like being at home anyway. I'm going to pick a location today. You can go with me and see what you think about my location. I'm thinking of these things when they're full grown. I'm thinking about how it's gonna look. So I'm thinking putting them in a, a triangle shape would be good. So I'm looking at my yard now and I'm trying to think. So here's what I'm looking at. There's my other one right there, as you can see. So I'm thinking about planting one here in this location and the other one right in here so there'll be like a triangle that way you'll, you'll see two of them lined up just about in any angle you're at so that's what i'm looking for so i'm gonna get me a, a good shovel and i'm gonna start digging i think i'm gonna put one of them right here and the other one over there where my shovel is if you really want to transform your landscape plant you some palm trees make sure they're chinese windmill palms they'll grow in your area most likely you can eat, they can grow in the snow. These things are really cold hardy. They'll, uh, they'll make your landscape look really nice and peculiar, especially when you live up further than Florida. A lot of people don't expect to see them. Just transform your landscape with these things. I found my location where I want to put them. Kind of in a triangle shape. It's about time to dig the okay, hole. let's go. So, I got my hole dug. You're gonna plant a hole. You wanna go about double the size of the root ball. You don't have to go too deep. You just wanna go wide. This tree's not gonna have real deep roots. So, there's an example of your first hole. My next location I'm gonna put over there. So, I'll be digging that hole also. Jump! 
So there's my second hole. And you can see where the other tree is in that tree. You want to plant these at least 10 feet apart. They'll look better. We had a cold snap, so I didn't want to put them in the ground when it's going to be in the 20s. So what I do is I put some good fertile dirt in there. I've got some dirt out of the garden that I'm going to mix with this. And I take about a half a bag of this potting soil. And I mix with the dirt. So it should have plenty of nutrients and all that. That's what you want for these trees. But I'm going to just mix this soil up. It's going to be pretty cold tomorrow too. So I'll probably plant these Tuesday or Wednesday morning. This is my dirt. Real fertile dirt. It's real fertile dirt. It's going to be pretty cold tomorrow too, so I'll probably plant these Tuesday or Wednesday morning. This is my dirt, real fertile dirt. It's real fertile dirt. I'm going to put in these holes. Here's my site for my other tree. So I'm going to mix that dirt up real good Wednesday morning. I have a tendency to overthink things but I've got my dirt mixed up and I hope that I didn't overthink it sometimes you just put something in the ground that'll flourish you work at it too much and it'll die on you so main thing is is when I plant something I always pray over it because God's the one that'll give the increase I can uh, plant it and if he don't bring rain and he don't bring sunshine and it ain't gonna grow anyway so God's the one, so I'm always going to pray over everything I plant. I don't care what it is, even a tomato, I'm going to pray over it. Certainly going to pray over a $40 tree, so um, that's what you do. Though. So I've got my hole. I put my, my potting soil in there. Um, I've got the dirt mixed up pretty good. There's a tree I'm going to plant right here. This is my second hole. Got all the dirt mixed up. When you plant this, you want the dirt to come up to where it is in this pot. No higher. You don't want no high dirt. Because see, the roots are right there. So, you want to put your dirt up to where it is right now. No higher. Here, Chris is measuring how deep the hole needs to be. Here, he's taking out some rocks, anything that'll hamper the growth of the roots of your palm tree and rechecking and checking the want depth. your plant level with the ground right here. Something else I want to say. When you buy one of these, it needs to have white roots. If the roots are not white, your plant's probably gonna die. Game over. You want the base of it to be level. To plant that thing about level, you want to make sure it's standing straight up. Because these things you don't want you don't want them leaning. You don't want uh so nothing piled up on it. On what you do, I gotta get some this. water and you'll fill in with rod on you. I just don't want no air pockets in here, so that's why I'm switching this dirt around.
I like to build the dirt up around it. That way, when I water it, it holds water. We're gonna come back in here and put mulch. We're gonna mulch this area right here. That way, that way when you water it, your water stays in here. So you kind of build your wall. But do not get dirt on top of this crown right here. There it is right there. Goal! I'll go back once all that water goes down and I'll make sure there's no dirt on the, you don't want no dirt on top of your, or touching your, your root, roots and the base of the plant. Once again, the roots need to be white, like these. I got it in the ground. I still haven't watered it yet. I'm gonna build this dirt up a little bit so when I water it, all the water stays with it. Uh, you want to water them until they get established. Three times a week, man. So three times a week, you need to make sure that you're watering this thing because they're real, real particular. I think I got them in the ground, and you can see they're beautiful. I mean, they really stand see, out. They get about four. three or four feet tall. So once you have your tree in the ground, you want to mulch. You want to put mulch out. So. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. Okay, let's go. These trees are pretty. And there you One go. One tree will probably bring your property value up $1,000. And they'll add to your property. You have several of these things and suddenly you had your house is worth a lot more than it was before you did your landscape. A lot of people don't realize that. You plant the right things and it'll bring up the property of your house. I want to thank you for watching the Chris and Tina Johnson project.